in the recent months aws has been releasing a lot of models and solidifying their existing models quite rapidly in the recently concluded aws reinvent conference they have announced a lot of features around their llm family which is called as titan i have been doing quite a lot of videos around titan models uh, which are text generation or summarization or even image generation and you can search my channel for those videos in this video i am going to introduce you to a new model by amazon called as amazon titan multimodal embeddings i'll be showing you what exactly this model is what it what you can do with it and how you can use it in your code which will be uh, in boto3 python and also be, that will be using the amazon bedrock service before i do that let me quickly tell you what exactly this multimodal embedding model is this titan multimodal embedding llm helps you build more accurate and contextually relevant multimodal search and recommendation experience for your end users when we say multimodal it simply means that a system's ability to process and generate information using distinct types of data or in other words modalities with titan multimodal embeddings you can manage text images or even the combination of the two as input and i'll be using the combination of two in my code which i will show you shortly so this model converts images and also short english text up to 128 tokens into embeddings and embeddings are simple numerical representation which are also called as vectors the purpose of embedding is to capture semantic meaning and relationship between your data you can even fine tune your model on image caption pairs for example you can combine and uh, your text and images on your own domain specific data for example if you have some sort of medical or legal documents or images you can put a caption on on it and then generate embeddings out of them titan multimodal embeddings model by default generates vector of 1024 dimensions but you can use your own you can even use less to speed up uh, and also save cost you can also achieve high degree of accuracy and speed with this 102 for dimensions if you want to use it but of course the cost will be a bit higher another cool thing about this model is that you can integrate it with lot of other aws services okay enough with the theory now let me show you the code let me go to my editor which is vs code editor and i already have written this program let me walk you through this program let me make it a bit bigger here so what is happening here is first i am just using these libraries which i already have installed so if you are using it on your own local system like me make sure that you have aws cli installed you have aws credentials configured and you have photo3 installed with the latest version once you have it then all we are doing it we are importing these libraries then i am getting a photo3 client for bedrock and bedrock runtime in order to use it and this is an image which i am going to use which is simply angry line.png so this is an image um which i already have it on my local directory and then i am just passing this image here and i am doing the base 64 encoding on it to create input image and i am saving it here then i am also giving it a text caption so both image and text caption i am using here and i am telling it that this image is of angry line and then i am specifying my titan embed image model here and these are few of the default um, parameters i am using then i am passing it to my api call and getting the response and this should be printing my vectors or numerical representation of embeddings and before i run that let me quickly show you the photo of agri line too so this is the image which is already on my local system and this is as you can see angry line.png in the same folder and this is what i am passing it as an input image and i'm also giving it this text caption okay that's good now let me run this let me make it bit bigger and i'm just going to say i titan dash multi which is the name of my file and let's run it takes bit of a time 
and there you go you can see that it has printed out all the vector representation which is primarily a numerical representation of the data or the image which I have passed along with the text so it has captured all of it in a numerical form because that is what these machines and systems understand now um, the thing is that the distance between these multimodal embedding vectors measured with metrics like cosine similarity or Euclidean distance shows how similar or different the represented information is across modalities. Smaller distance between these like this one means more similarity while larger distance means more dissimilarity. So this is the same like for example if you pass the images of llama and alpaca to a model their vector embeddings will be closer because they are similar but if you pass something like a cockroach and a horse they are totally different animals so their distance between um, their embeddings would be huge so they will be dissimilar so that is how llm or large language models can tell us which images or text is similar and which one is not so that's it in this one and if you try it out and see how you go if you need the code let me know and i'll paste it somewhere maybe in my blog post and i'll drop the link in video description too so that you can play around and i hope that you enjoyed it if you have any questions thoughts or even if you can think of any use case here let me know in the comments and i'll be happy to um, produce it and of course if you like the content please give a thumbs up to the video and subscribe to the channel if you are not already thank you very much